Like a lot of kids, I grew up picking berries in the summertime. It's a quick and easy way to get fresh fruit, and best of all, it's free. I'm Andrew, and today we're foraging for salal berries. Once you know what they look like, they're easy to identify. They're blue-black in color, they're a little hairy, and they grow in these small groups. They also have these rough, egg-shaped leaves. They ripen in the summer, and they have a flavor reminiscent of blueberry. They're high in vitamin C and antioxidants, and they're also going to be the perfect filling in today's dessert. Today, I'm making mochi with our fresh berries. Mochi are Japanese chewy rice cakes, and they can be eaten plain or wrapped around fillings like red bean or seasonal fruits. I'll be making a cheesecake-filled mochi with a salal berry center. I think the subtle sweetness of the berries and the tartness is going to go great with a rich cheesecake filling. I'm whisking our cheesecake to get it nice and airy, and adding powdered sugar and condensed milk for sweetness. And I'll throw that into the cooler to set while we work on our mochi. Mochi is traditionally made by pounding glutinous rice until you're left with a chewy rice cake, but using sweet rice flour, sugar, and water makes this a lot easier. My first experience with fresh made mochi was when I was living in Hawaii. Me and my friends used to take trips to the other side of the island, and we used to visit this place called Two Ladies Kitchen, which makes the best fresh made mochi that I've ever had. And today's cheesecake filling is inspired by their use of non-traditional fillings, like brownie and Oreo, as well as their use of seasonal fruits. After about 15 minutes in the steamer, our mochi is all cooked and it's ready to be rolled out. A generous dusting of cornstarch is key to prevent sticking. And using a 3 inch ring mold, we're going to cut out some mochi rounds. We'll be using these to wrap around our cheesecake filling, which has just finished setting in the cooler. Wrapping your mochi will take a little bit of practice, but practice makes perfect. Just dust off the extra cornstarch, and take about a tablespoon of your cream cheese filling and put that into the center of your mochi wrapper. Then, take a couple berries and put that into the center of the cheesecake. This will allow us to keep the outside of our mochi nice and white, and give us a little surprise when you bite into it. And then, pinch and seal. And roll in your hand to create that nice round mochi shape. And dust off any extra cornstarch. Dessert mochis have really grown in popularity here in recent years, and it's pretty easy to find them with fillings like ice cream. But these are so simple and easy to make, and they're especially delicious with fresh fruits like our salal berries. And that's today's dessert, cheesecake filled mochi with fresh salal berries. <laughs>